We've learned a lot about taking care of our health and our bodies over time, uh, and it's evolved, clearly, a work in progress. We no longer think that it's a good idea to eat dozens of eggs for breakfast. Think of the cholesterol. And we're also learning to evolve our fitness ideas. So Mental Floss came out with a bunch of well, not discoveries, maybe rediscoveries of vintage exercise devices that probably, I mean, they sounded great in theory, but in practice, not so much. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the first one. So this is the Relaxicizer. Wouldn't it be great if you could just recline and have your muscles exercised for you? It's effortless, promised the ads. You rest. And it also says, not a bicycle or chair. Just in case you were confused <laughs> by the image. I don't see a bicycle or chair in the image, but okay. And of course it didn't work. It used damp electrodes that were possibly unsafe and could cause headache, hernia, loss of consciousness, or diarrhea. Um, and it was a, a judge halted sales due to the unpredictable currents and yeah. unsafe nature. There was general. a permanent injunction on uh, this device, but before there was, there were over 400,000 units sold oh, and no. out in the public. Um, the main claim to it was, you relax, you rest, and you lose weight and get no. fit. Uh, we also have the Moby revolving hammock. It's like a Jacob's Ladder, but for your head and feet to be locked, oh no. Uh, so this is, what is it, a rotisserie? It makes your spine young, and it's from the 1920s. Um, you can see why there might be some litigation in this. So you kind of thought this one might kind of sort of work. It's the Velcro Home Jogger. Yes, it's a Japanese device. I really device. enjoyed this one. I thought that the premise had somewhat of a validity. You are creating resistance. It's a Velcro block and your sneakers have uh, the opposite end and you just jog in place on top of a Velcro pad. I think I would just destroy the sneakers eventually with, you know, the peeling from all the tension. Uh, it might work. It but looks... here's the thing, jogging in place will work. <laughs> That's, that's the whole thing. Yeah, and if you you're add right. Velcro, well, maybe there's a little added resistance. Why not um, just go jog? This is essentially a Lazy Susan that you stand on and twist a little bit. It's from the 1970s and it's supposed to contort your core? I don't know. No one really ever figured out how it worked, uh, including its maker. And they, uh, the comment that was uh, released by one of the personal trainers that uh, first endorsed this product was that anything that the twist and tone could do or was you know purported to do um, could be done standing on the floor oh. for free. This picture looks weird. It looks almost like Arnold Schwarzenegger's face was put on someone else's Photoshop body. Uh, crappy Photoshop <laughs> of the day of the 1970s. So the, the idea here is to wear leather and lead bracelets that will turn quote every arm movement into an instant arm builder and she'll love the look of your arm power. <laughs> if your biceps didn't ooze 100% more power and look ferocious, this is the copy, it promised it, you could return them for a full refund of $14.99. They also may ooze due to lead. And <laughs> next we have a fun video. Oh no. <laughs> the old time gyroscope. Wait. So is there some, because we, we have gyroscopes today, right? Yes. And they, they do something for physicality, <laughs> right? I, uh, despite the fact that I think it will give me no physical advantage when it comes to my uh, fitness program, I want one of those really bad. I think you just might like the music. <laughs> Maybe. The video is very well made, very well produced. For the 30s, it was pretty good. Maybe. And last we, we, we have the Health Jolting Chair. Uh, it was sold in the 1880s and free of any pesky laws governing medical claims. So this chair said it would cure disease. It had relief life. from constipation and melancholia and anything resulting from a lack of nerve force. So it was supposed to strengthen your nerves. The idea was a gyration movement, so it was slightly pornographic in mm -hmm. a way. It, you know, it basically you just moved around and that was supposed to alleviate your constipation and your sadness and all these, I guess, nerve issues. Well, okay, so we can agree that if all, if not most, most if not all of these things probably don't work. Um, but they do have some similarities to some medical or not medical fitness devices on the market now. I think I've seen things before where you can attach 
something to your stomach to, uh, and you don't work and it, it works out your muscles for you. Yeah, the electrodes are still in fashion. Like people still believe they can sit down, eat whatever they want, rest, and still get a 12 pack. Uh, somehow marketing and advertising has just gone that much further mm -hmm. in trying to convince people that this is a real possibility. Well, it's certainly been persistent in all this time. Exactly. Of selling well, the of, same idea that you, you, can, you can lose weight this way. What will we think next century of all the things that we do now, that we have now in our gyms or as home exercise equipment. I mean, have you seen those, the ones where you're like rowing? I like the and rowing And you're doing thing. like these weird, bizarre, you're crunching and those little ponies they had at Brookstone, which okay, are, the ponies I think, are weird. And I think they're the <laughs> modern version of this health jolting the chair because they, they're doing the same movement. But what will we think in the future of our own perception of what works when it comes to fitness and exercise and diet? I can hear future children laughing at us already. <laughs> but I think as long as we have people who want an easy way out, we will have marketers exploiting that time after time again, uh, which is great. Let us know what you think below about these vintage exercise machines and what do you think will be the laughable exercise ideas of the future? Let us know below and please be sure to subscribe.